So the G bender, so a belt loop lanyard. So it hooks to my belt loop. Okay, and you press the neck away from you. And the B is down. So or diminish chords like uh, uh, let's see uh, you know that one you can do that uh, with the B bender or you can do it with a G bender or you can try it with both of them at the same time But it doesn't matter. Anyway, hey, this is the Tadpole guitar. Uh, if you see it right there, it says Tadpole. I don't know if you can read that or not. Uh, yeah, so uh, Jason Williams owns this guitar. Williams Farm. They are tobacco farmers in Hazelhurst, Georgia. And uh, he had me build him this uh, beautiful... Uh, pink paisley telly with my new bridge my pickups these are the boost coils see the alnico three quarter inch uh, e string and a string magnets and the alnico twos for the rest and they're boosted so check this out it goes from uh, twang <laughs> gives a little more boost. From the Buck Owens thing. Uh, better example. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, let's see. works in the middle position so uh, and then boosted just the standard coil. Thank you. 
it's kind of subtle, but it actually it's changing it quite a bit because, and it's all passive. That's that's the beauty of this is is uh, the pickups are wound to six and a half k, and then we tap them, and we just add another two k of winds around the original wind, and that makes it, you know, like eight and a half k. And uh, it kind of turns a regular single coil tele pickup into a P90. They're not humbuckers. They are actual single coil pickups. So it just goes from 60s twang to what I kind of consider a Vince Gilly type P90-ish. Like if you roll your uh, volume uh, or your tone knob off. <laughs> takes that edge off well it's the leak keeping the volume and everything but doing it with the push pull pot <laughs> it's a nice fat you know anyway i can't live without it now ever since i designed these sandwiches but um okay also has strap locks got to have the build the wall shirt um you know trump picking on a telly obviously that will probably get me in trouble with a few people, but I don't care. Anyway, again, this is uh, this is a guitar I just got through building for uh, Jason Williams. And he wanted Tadpole on there. I asked him about that, too. I'm like, what's the Tadpole for? I don't get it. And he said, well, that's just my nickname. You know, my grandfather called me Tadpole. So uh, I said, okay. He was like, put it on the back of the neck or something. So I did. I went ahead and put it on the back of the neck. But then I thought, you know, that'd be really cool to put it at the end of the neck, too. So I went ahead and did that. Um, got the uh, the new mechanism with the new plates made. Uh, they're a little more heavy duty. Plus the, uh, so there's the, there's the uh, G bender. Here's the B bender. And it's got the flame rear pull arm and all that good stuff. But, uh, oh, another thing this thing has is uh, the bridge. If you look real closely at the bridge, it's it's my new bender ready bridge. So it's already got the relief in the back for the uh, B string and the G string. And these are compensated saddles that are made here in Nashville as well. Jeremy uh, Colas designed these. And there's a lot of us boutique guys that are using these saddles now. Um, like I can think of probably five guys that are in our little... Uh, builders and luthiers club that we got here that are using the exact same saddles and I can get them in uh, I order them from Jeremy and several different things you know brass uh, nickel plated the nickel plated ones are nice and they're pretty st slick um, stainless steel cold rolled steel uh, even the knobs like these are aluminum I'm trying to cut the weight down so this guitar only weighs like seven and a half pounds and it's a double bender telly Catalpa sounds killer, looks kind of like Swamp Ash, uh, one piece maple neck. Everything about this guitar is made in the United States. That's the other thing, including the strap that I'm using. This is a buddy of mine made these, uh, made these straps. I'm not sure where he got the rattlesnakes from, but he sent me a few of these straps, which I'm just kind of using for test straps now. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope I didn't talk too long on it, but subscribe to my channel, please. And uh, watch all the other videos. I got a few new ones that I'm, I'm fixing to drop a whole bunch of different videos. Some old stuff, some old instruction stuff, some new stuff. Uh, plus I'm gonna try to do as many like just guitar lesson-y type, you know. You know, anything. If you have any requests for anything, if you wanna learn how to play any of my stuff, like if you got my telethon record or you got beer truck or whatever, drop me a line in the comments and uh, I'll do a video on it and I'll show you exactly how I played all that crap. <laughs> so anyway, y'all have a really wonderful winter. If I don't talk to you, see you next time.